that was a clip just taken from just a small portion of one of my shipment gameplays on Call of Duty World War II showing you that no matter what shipment you're playing in whatever Call of Duty there's always going to be chaos but you can have controlled chaos Infinity Ward I hope you're listening and it's all because of the spawns if you have normal spawns then you can actually have controlled chaos people are having fun but what's up my people we in here so I'm gonna do something a little different today because uh, now that you know I'm you guys know I'm laid up with my my knee surgery I actually got to get my staples out in a few days which sucks I'm not looking forward to that but it is what it is um, so I was like you know and I've been playing this game more right you know cuz I'm, I'm home all the time now right like I don't have much to do like I did before so I'm, I'm slowly kind of losing my mind from boredom in that way and yeah that's kind of ironic right to jump on this because I'm bored but you know, it's like, I'm, I'm trying to get gameplay too, and, and I'm just like, and I'm, I'm getting, I'm in, I'm getting into some sweet 1v1 gunfights with people, man, and I sat there and I thought, damn it, I want to love this game, dude, like, you have no idea, look at the hit markers, oh my god, and then I get cleaned up like a bitch, but I, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, Jesus fucking Christmas, man, I was gonna say the other thing, man. I, I just I want I really want to love this game like there's potential here man Infinity Ward so I wanted to make a little video and just talk about the things that they do they did right right you know we we come out here and when I say we this time I mean me and you know there's a bunch of other YouTubers that come out here and dog this game all the time right and that's not what I want to do man that's really not what I want to do I, I mean I'm passionate about the game I'm passionate about Call of Duty like I've said before and when something when bullshit happens to me or something straight up broken you know, like, I I'm pissed off, man. I want it to be fixed. I want it to be fixed so I could start enjoying this game, you know? But, uh, yeah, I was just, I was getting into these one-on-one -on -one gunfights. It wasn't in this game, even though this game is, is a, a tight little game, but, um, and actually, I get bullshitted on this game, too. You guys are going to see what's up. But it wasn't just the gunfights that I was getting into that made me want to make this video. It was also the update that we got yesterday, January 22nd. Where they gave us a couple of positives, man. You know, I was, I, I mean, that's a huge positive right there that I was going to get into is the gunsmith, right? I love the fucking gunsmith in this game. The fact that you can change your your whole setup just on the fly in a game is fucking priceless at this, at this point, man. We should have had it sooner. But I, that that's a beautiful thing that they brought to this game. And I hope every Call of Duty has that thing going forward. But anyways, I was reading the patch notes. And honestly... All I could get from it was just a couple of positives, you know what I mean? If there was a lot there, I might have made a video last night on it. But, you know, we got the five custom classes, which is what I was just getting at. And then we they, they brought back Shoot the Shit. Other than that, they fixed a bunch of bugs, but apparently also broke the game too. Uh, you know, I heard about it. A few people uh, sending me messages told me about it that, uh, you know, people's games were broken at Pick Up the VTOL. People's games were broken after the patch. And I watched a few videos on YouTube this morning about it too. There's a lot of people talking about it. Um, so yeah, apparently they they fucked up a lot of people's games with this joint, man. With with that update yesterday, and just gotta get this out of the right way real quickly. Infinity War, Modern Warfare takes up way too much hard drive, man. Dead ass. It, it's too big, dude. You guys, that's what I know. That's what she said, right? And check this out. I'm one off my chopper gunner right now, right? And look at how it ends, man. So I'm trying to pick up this dude, get a fucking assist. I get damaged by the uh, the nade, but look at your boy. Look at your boy, man. I know this happens in every Call of Duty, right? It just seems to happen more in this game than any other Call of Duty. But anyways, um, so yeah, the the patch apparently fucked a lot of people's game up. It didn't fuck my game up, and uh, you know shit just takes way too long, man. Like I had three updates that I had to uh, get through yesterday. I had the up the physical update itself, and then I had some type of map pack multiplayer pack 2 or something like that which didn't give us any new maps and then I also had a spec ops thing I had to download yo I don't know if it's just a PS4 thing but it doesn't take me long to download the updates because my internet's good but the fucking the copying dude like literally I, I could download the update in a couple minutes or something right I copied that bitch for 45 though it's oh my god dude I don't know if that's a PlayStation thing or what but yo that's that shit is ridiculous so right off the get-go we already talked about the gunsmith briefly man the gunsmith definitely something that Infinity Ward and Modern Warfare did right they did it so right uh campaign and spec ops I'm not going to talk about them they are positives for this game 
you know, Spec Ops is a little boring, it's a little hard to, uh, to get through some of the missions. The campaign is very generic, but I thought it was very good. You know, I, I don't have a problem with it all. What do you expect for a Call of Duty campaign, right, this far into the franchise? Um, so, I want to start off with the realism. And when I say realism, I'm not talking about, you know, running around one-shotting dudes with a pistol. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about realistic as in it's a modern military shooter. You feel like you're out here fighting as men and women in a war, right? You're not running around in fucking gingerbread gingerbread man and clown and fucking panda outfits and all this bullshit, right? You hear the homie Jive Turkey talk sometimes about the airplane gun from Black Ops 4? He's right! Like, that, that stuff is just nonsense to me too, man. Now, I will say this, there was a couple of Mastercrafts in that in Black Ops 4 that actually I, I liked. You know, I thought it was... I thought it made the gun look sexy as fuck. But no, all that shit, you know, that cartoony type shit that Treyarch seems to have in their last couple of games, even with Black Ops 3, even though I love that game. You know, the, the cartooniness. I, I like this, man, the grittiness, you know? You feel like you're in a war. I, lo I love that, you know? And it's modern, military. Um, it was a great idea for them to come back to this, right? Uh, I do like the field upgrade system because it's kind of like having a specialist, just a really dummy down version of a specialist, right? All they needed to do was switch Dead Silence and Ghost. Make Ghost the field upgrade, make Dead Silence the fucking uh, perk. Imagine just with that small change right there how much better this game would be. Even with the maps and the low visibility and everything else, man. Just switch Ghost and Dead Silence, dude. That way you could use your Ghost tactically and you always have Dead Silence if you're a rusher. Oh my god, this game right there, even with the skill-based matchmaking and all that too, would make this game just a hundred times better. Jesus, I, I, pro I mean, you would obviously still get frustrated with everything else in this game. But immediately I could start playing this game and just, you know, if I have a bad game, whatever, I'll just, whatever. I'll get him next game, you know. But it is what it is, man. Um, no supply drops. I, I, listen, I think the Battle Pass still sucks. I'm not really a Battle Pass dude. You know, I, I think the Battle, I think all this shit is, is just annoying, man. It's just a way for these uh, publishers to make more money. But it is what it is, man. It's here. Um, but So I'm glad that they gave us all the DLC for free. And they gave, they took out the supply drops, gave us a battle pass. Now, for me personally, um, I, I got more excited with the supply drops. I don't know if anybody's going to agree with me. I got more excited for those supply drops when you earned one or whatever. Um, you know, it's just because, like, it's that random. It's like that, that addictive, you know, nature of, of gambling, I guess, or something, you know. But I uh, honestly, you know, when in hindsight, looking back, yeah, battle pass, obviously, for common sense, is a better microtransaction system but I did find supply drops were more exciting uh, crossplay obviously another good thing especially for the PC dudes PC dudes are just and women and the ladies they're over there just beating the shit out of all of us console bitches but it is what it is crossplay is a good thing I mean if this game didn't have crossplay I I doubt that we would find many lobbies at all but um gunfight again Really nice. I, I like the gunfight. And I do like how we can set multiple game modes to search for at a time, right? A lot of these haters will come over to my channel and be like, the game is not dead. You were only searching for one game mode in this video, Gilmore. Uh, guys, that's what I do still on these older games too, man. You know, you're, you're coming over here hating at me. You're calling me all these names and all this shit. When I go, when I go jump on World War II, when I go jump on Black Ops 3, these old ass games right where not many people are playing them I, I'll I'll search for one TDM dude and I find a lobby instantly I search for one game in this with crossplay on and I'm sitting there for 45 seconds a minute whatever so I mean just you know what I mean like come on man you guys you guys gotta start using your fucking brain sometimes dude but um the, the last thing I wanted to get to was the the feeling of the guns man the guns sound and the look of the guns, dude, the way that the, the guns just feel in your hands with your controller. It's just, that's a feeling from weapons that I didn't even get back in COD 4. Right, it's just, it's so just fucking gritty and just, it feels real, man. And the gun sounds are fucking fantastic. I wish, I wish, man, that Infinity Ward would listen to us community, man. 
and, and I really wish that they would make the changes that they know that all of us want, man, with the dead silence and the mini map and a few other things, man. They can make those changes. And even with these maps, can you imagine how much more we'd all enjoy this game? All these people that are telling me on every one of my videos that they've already installed this game, they quit playing it a month ago and all this shit. You would come back, would you not? And you'd probably have a great fucking time, man. Oh my goodness. Infinity Ward. Step up. You know, we, we we need a good make Call of Duty great, man. Like, I'm not out here hoping that you fail. I want Call of Duty to be good. Help me out, man. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Something different for once. You know, not a your bet and I have made positive videos about Modern Warfare before. But you know, instead of dogging on the game for a change, thought I might make a positive video. We out.